<laughs> you still pull. You still pull bloopers from that, right? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 Holmes. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> what? Like, what? 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 Hello. What? What? See, what? this will never see the light of day. I'm the one who edits. <laughs> you wait until I start editing. <laughs> just, that's when I stop getting on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, don't lean to the mic. I have to. I mean, it's not like he's sitting here hugging it. <laughs> like somebody we know who hugs oh, their microphone. My mic. Or, I or. Hey, I would like Katie. Ruin you. Katie. <laughs> <laughs> it's Katie. She hey. said she would ruin me, folks. It's Wednesday, October 3rd. I'm Josh. And I'm Mike. And it's time for your morning announcements. Uh, actually, Josh, hmm? there are no new announcements. What? Seriously, uh, everything has been said. Wow. Yeah, we had the blood drive yesterday. Uh, the. Um, what happened on Monday? Um, we had the... Pictures. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we took pictures on Monday. Uh, and we've got the upcoming football game. Looking forward to it. But you know what? We've told you guys that a thousand times already. Um, but I do, have some, I do have some new news for us. Uh, today, we are ep uh, celebrating episode number 21. Yes. Yeah, episode 21, guys. And uh, because of that... You know, uh, we are going to take a short little hiatus. Uh, that means break. That means break. Yeah, that means break, John. I, di I didn't know if you knew that. I knew that. Okay. Oh, I'm wow. in honors English. Hey, honors English. It's like, good, everybody. That looked yes. awkward as can be. That's okay. Anyway, uh, <laughs> more on your part than mine. Um, but anyway, so we're going to take a break for a week uh, just because we want to provide you guys with more original content. Instead of just reading the news every day. Uh, we want to do more segments like the driving segment with Mr. Ice or the footage that you're going to see here in just a little bit of our time at the blood drive because um, I gave blood today and we filmed it. That's awful nice of you. Wait till you see the footage. Did you scream? No, but I almost passed out. Oh, well, well I'm glad you're just, okay. Uh, sorry, spoilers. No spoilers. Okay. <laughs> just watch the footage. You'll see what happened. Oh, um, you, you left out cooking with Miss Fraley. Oh, we did cooking with Miss Fraley too. And we want, that's it. We want to do more episodes like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a short little break. We're going to take a week off. And then I think we're going to take all the recommendations you guys sent us on Twitter, you know, in the hallway, talking after school. And we're going to take those recommendations and make some changes to the show. We're going to, we're going to do a new intro because everybody's been dying for a new intro to the show. Yep. Have they not? They've been bugging us. Yes, yes. <laughs> Olivia Olivia will be on it. She's sitting over – You don't. she's standing right here and she's so excited. Yep. She might – actually make the intro to the show. <laughs> but uh, with that said, uh, what we're going to do is, you know, hey, here's the footage from our time at the blood drive. Hey guys, we're in the auxiliary gym and today we're giving blood. So I'm here with Mrs. Elkins and she's going to tell us a little bit about the blood drive. Hello. Um, the blood drive started <laughs> We actually started the blood drive before we even became consolidated. When we were over at the vocational school, we always had a blood drive twice a year, and we've continued to do that since we've been here at Lincoln County High School. We generate 75 to 100 units of blood a year, uh, and that uh, qualifies Lincoln County High School for a $500 scholarship to be awarded by the American Red Cross for one of the health occupation students. This also gets the kids involved in community service to realize how important it is for uh, them to give back to their community and be involved in the blood donation process. Mr. McCormick is going to get his blood taken today. And they're going to follow me around as I give blood. And what's the first step? Where do we go first? Well, you checked it. You've already checked I've in. I've already checked in. Sorry, yeah. we're skipping that well, step. So it's actually kind of neat because it's all computerized now. So they entered his information into the computer and it came up because he has previously given blood. Yes. I, was I in there? Yeah. Yes, he was in the computer. That's, that's cool right. because then that way he is a recurring donor, and we really appreciate that, and that's great. Yep. So then he's going to read this information uh, sheet. I've already read through it. He's already read it. We've had a couple issues. You know, I am diabetic, and but I think we're going to be clear to go. Good and to go. And then once he's read that, he is ready to go to get the history and physical with the nurses. So when they say next, we will be next. Now, when we go over there, we cannot accompany him behind the screen because that is confidential. Yep, yep. Okay? And so we will wait outside while he gets screened, and then we'll pick up when he gets left off. 
So right now, Mr. McCormick is getting asked questions before he gets his blood taken. Yeah, they'll ask questions like, uh, you know, they'll go ahead and get his vital signs, his temperature, his pulse, respiration, blood pressure. They'll also check his iron level to make sure he has enough iron to donate blood. They'll ask him a full history, medical history, to see if there's anything in there history-wise that would uh, prohibit him from donating blood. We cannot be back there because that's a confidential area. And also apparently the Red Cross employees cannot answer questions because they're not allowed to be on camera. So Mr. McCormick, are you nervous about getting your blood taken? No. Are you sure? I, I'm fairly sure. I've done this uh, several times. I am a registered donor. And uh, today we're doing doubles, which is why we're hooked up to this machine and they're taking a pint of straight red blood cells. So I think this machine, I'm not 100% sure, she'll correct me if I'm wrong. It's going to, uh, ooh, you wanna get in close on this? Cause she's about to stick me. All right. This Might is, get a little woozy. This is the good part here. I don't know if we can put this on camera, but we'll, we'll try. So I think that this machine here takes, it filters my blood, takes the plasma, it separates the plasma from the red blood cells and it, ke and it keeps the red blood cells. Am I right on that? Yeah. Oh, see, I'm good. That's what an education will do for you people. That is plasma? the plasma, which will go back into his body. So this is like the opposite of plasma donating. This is neat thing. This is neat because they say that people that do double reds do much better because you're actually getting your fluid volume back. All they're taking are your red cells. If teenage girls such as yourself say, I'm really kind of nervous, I don't think I want to do it then I do not try to coerce them into it. Because a lot of times people say, oh, you big chicken, you big chicken. Don't, because if you have a negative experience and have a bad experience. Needle. Yes, needle. Oh. See, didn't feel a thing. Yes, oh. you did. You can't see it, but there's tears right from Mr. McCormick's eyes. I'm, I'm crying. Blood, there we go. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God, all your blood is going into the bag. <laughs> Fill that baggie up. <laughs> Wow. This is some, some this is some cutting edge stuff for, for school news. This is intense. This is gross. Now that is that the blood they used to test with or what's that little that's a testing that's your little testing bag, yeah. yeah. So see that's neat. They've got this little system all set up. So back to my back to my what I was saying, I do not um, you know, if kids don't want to give I don't uh, try to coerce them because if it's a bad experience they never donate again that is why if they're doing a regular uh, donation if they do not get enough blood in the bag they cannot use it Does anybody because there is the additive to keep it from clotting and there would be too much in that volume of blood so that's the only downside um, how does it feel being sitting here laying here knowing that you are helping out you could possibly help out two patients in need um i came for the pizza <laughs> I, I and then you turned it down <laughs> okay no uh, i you came to get out of class right to be honest with you i, I did this just for the footage <laughs> okay well, that's okay we'll take I'm, we'll I'm okay i'm okay i didn't know if i could get any one of these you guys put the microphone oh. i i didn't know if i could get any one of these guys to actually do this well you know what we don't we really don't care why you're here we're just glad that you're here because if you interviewed half those kids, you know why they would tell you they were here? To get out of class. And, you know, whatever it takes to get, to get the goods, sometimes that's what you got to do. <laughs> Amen, sister. Wow, it really is a little weird. I just now, like, it just hit me a little bit, and I do feel a little lightheaded. Wow. They're putting that, that stuff that looks like uh, that yellow, the yellow stuff. That's the fluid that your uh, red blood cells sit in, right? Well, I just got a little lightheaded. I, I, I wouldn't say sick, but we're hamming it up for the camera. You know, I got a nice ice pack. So you got to do these things if you want a little extra attention sometimes, you know. It's okay. I, 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 to be honest with you, I don't even feel it. Like, it feels a little tingly, but, you know. Ow. 
I do feel good about myself and, and the fact that uh, I don't have to go to the gym. Oh, sorry. That's okay. The fact that I don't have to go to the gym this evening, that's, that's what I'm looking forward to. So how'd it go? Uh, I, I think it went well. I, I think I, I did fine. I, other than, you know, passing out and acting like a baby, I, I did well. Oh, I didn't pass out. You didn't pass out. We didn't see you pass out. No, yeah. I just I just lost color in my lips. Ooh. Ooh. Yes. I did actually see you when I looked over. I saw you lying flat instead of sitting high. Yeah, and yeah. And the reason they did that is why? Because you want the blood flow to go up to the major organs. So that's yep, why. Yep. Major yep. organs, yep. Yep, yep. The, the brain. The brain. The brain. The brain. That is a major organ. The brain. All right. Um, you know, we've recorded for like an hour. We've got an hour's worth of footage. Oh, you wow. You know how much is going to be on the news? 20 seconds. Three minutes. Three minutes. <laughs> Three whole minutes. Three whole minutes. Yeah. You can be very, yeah. very selective. Very selective. Very selective. All right. Thank you for having us down today. Well, thank you for coming. Uh, we appreciate your donating. And just think, you saved two lives. 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 All right. I earned some brownie points somewhere. All right. That's right. That's right. We'll see you guys later. Later, Bryson. Signing off. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the footage from the blood drive. And, you know, if next time we have one, I hope you guys come on out. And with that being said, that's it. We're going off air for a week or so. Uh, we'll be back with new episodes and a new intro. And, uh, well, later, guys. Sayonara. Bye. 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 Have a wonderful time. You guys are awful quiet. <laughs> Just keep waving with that creepy smile. Smile and wave, boys. Just smile and wave. We're done. I'm in a good mood today. Like, I, I literally, <laughs> can you tell I'm a bit punch drunk because I've been deprived of all my blood. And, like, I'm totally, like, not here. You're <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I'm... No, when you said that you had footage like that, I almost do. I was like, oh, I hate needles and I can't do it. I'm not on the desktop of my computer, I paused it as she sticks the needle in my arm. Oh! If you want to watch that, it's pretty wild. It's just on my desk, I my computer. It. All right, let's go. It's my natural cheesy look.